Hello guys, welcome back to Utrero Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Resident Evil Village, crashing fix, black screen issue, freezing issue, stuck on loading screen, not launching issue and how you can fix this up on your Windows 10. So let's get started. So first thing what you have to do is you just have to make sure yourself that once the game is downloaded from either on the Epic Games as well as on the Steam, you just have to do a restart. Once after restart, what you have to do is you just have to make sure that all the drivers are updated. So these are the basic steps which you have to try out. And once after that, follow my instruction. So first my instruction is what you have to do is you just have to go to uh, advanced uh, you know, performance settings. And to do this, you just have to go to this PC and you just have to press right click on this and go to properties. Sorry, you just have to, uh, okay, go to properties. And now from here, what you have to do is just click on the advanced system setting on the right side. Okay. Now from here, what you have to do is, as you can see that you have to be on the advanced and here you have to click on settings once again. Now from here, just click on advanced once again, and you just have to make sure that you're on the program. And once after that, you just have to click on change options here. You just have to click on change. And now from here, you just have to give the uh, custom size. You have to select the custom size. So now I have to give the size and before that I would like to make you notice you just have to untick this okay if it is untick because I have already done this to check the whether the issue is uh, I mean the step is going to work because for me it's worked so uh, you have to untick this and also here as you can see that I'm having the drives as well as C, D and F so the game is stored in C so I have to select C and if your game is stored in D you have to select D okay this is what you have to do and you have to go for custom size okay so i'll be making to c because my game is on c now the first thing is you have to give initial size as well as the maximum size so here what you have to do is just have to give the initial size so here the initial size is recommended one which is 1908 mb so you just have to type 1908 mb this is what you have to type the next question is what you have to give for the maximum size okay so as you can see that my system is running 8 GB RAM so what you have to do is I just have to do a simple calculation I have to do a simple calculation so the calculation is very simple what I have to do is I just have to type here 8 okay I have to type 8 then I have to go for into then 1024 okay I have to go for it so it is around 80192 MB so this is what I have to give the maximum size I have to give the maximum size is 8192 MB I have to give the maximum size this is what I have to give and imagine that if your PC is of uh, you know uh, 12 GB what you have to uh, 12 then you just have to do this and go for you just have to multiply with 1024 so you have to give this one and if it is 16 you don't have to worry just type 16 into 1024 so this is the what but values you have to give once after the value is given you just have to go for ok and go for ok and most probably just have to do a restart and by the by doing restart i mean you just have to do a restart and after that try to open the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed this is the first step okay after trying the first step and if it's not working then you just don't have to worry we have uh, one more step so one more step is you just have to update the drivers so you may be wondering i have updated my pc to the windows 10 to the latest version as well as and i have updated my drivers and still i'm facing the issue you have to make sure yourself that when you're trying to play a game which is a little bit higher i mean uh, which is consuming a lot of little bit higher so what you have to do is you just have to make sure that not only your windows uh, only matter here you have to update your drivers as well as your uh, network adapters display adapters and even the mouse adapters you have to update so to do this you just have to go to this pc and go to properties and from here you just have to click on device manager and this is very usual process most of you guys will be knowing this and from here as i said you have to update your display adapters you have to update your mice and other pointing devices where they you have to update your device uh, this one also and also you have to update your network adapters and the very most important thing you just have to update all these things because apart from even the keyboard also you have to update because when you're trying to play the game, these old things also run in the background. So these have to get updated so that the game will be very smooth. Okay, I know I know that you guys will be knowing how to update the drivers. Just uh, right click on this and you just have to select the respective one and go for update driver. And search for the drivers as you can see this is on the latest version. So the same way you have to go for display adapters, network adapters and even keyboard as well as the mouse. You have to go for it. 
and after trying this step also what you have to do is just have to do a normal restart and try to open the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful for you guys and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out